All right, so next up is the root test. Root test looks an awful lot like the ratio test. In fact, all I had to do was come through and change a few pieces here, right? So in the root test, it's called the root test because you look at the nth root of a n, right, as n goes to infinity. So both the, de the degree of the root goes up as n increases, right? So another way to write that, usually more convenient, is to write that as a n to the power 1 over n, right? So we're looking at fractional powers with increasingly large denominator, okay? And we're letting n go to infinity here. Um, now, it looks a lot like the ratio test, and with good reason, this is yet another variation on the theme of geometric series, right? Notice that if an is r to the n, well then, a n to the 1 over n is r to the n to the 1 over n, which is just r, right? And we know that a geometric series is going to converge for r less than 1. It's going to diverge for r bigger than 1. Of course, if, if it's a geometric series on the nose, we also know it diverges for r equal to 1. But it's not exactly a geometric series here, so we can't really say anything if, our, you know, if this limit is equal to 1, right? Um, so the idea here is that, well, if, if, if a n to the 1 over n, right, um, if n is large, sufficiently large, right, a n to the 1 over n is approximately equal to the limit L whatever it has, happens to be, and that suggests that a n is something, you know, it goes something like L to the n. So it really is, again, trying to take whatever series you have and approximate it by a geometric series and then use what we know about geometric series to decide on convergence of the limit. That's the strategy here, okay? And again, it's not on the nose, it's only approximate, but it gives you an idea of what's going on. Um, one reminder, um, for positive constants, if you think about taking roots of constants, um, for numbers that are between 0 and 1, if you take the root of a number between 0 and 1, it actually gets a little bit bigger, right? Like square root of a quarter is a half. If you take the square root of a number that's bigger than 1, it gets smaller. Um, so for a positive constant, if you take that constant to the power of 1 over n and ask where it goes, it goes to 1 as n goes to infinity. Um, that's often a useful observation to make. Of course, you can show that using calculus if you like, um, but we'll just make that as an observation in case it comes up in some of the following examples.